Hello, hello, it's Friday. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Stephanie, this is my sewing room. Welcome, welcome. It's Friday Sews. Another Friday. A whole week's gone by. It seems fast this time. Sometimes slow, sometimes fast. So Friday Sews is a little bit of sewing and a little bit of life. And if you wanna see more uh, people like me who do sewing and vlogging, that's what the little bit of life part is. Just do the hashtag Friday Sits and you'll discover some very cool channels. Just, oh, I really enjoy Friday Sits. Not just doing them for you, but going around and seeing some of my favorites. Just favorite people on the internet. I feel like I know them. Do you feel that way too? Uh, okay, so let's start with sewing. Um, if I start to glisten, it's hot, I'm sweating. I the air conditioner on, but I closed the door. <sighs> I love summer. I love sitting outside, so I'm not going to complain that I'm hot. I turn on a bunch of lights. Of course I'm hot. So I'll just, uh, you know, kind of glisten through this video. I made some leggings. I'm trying to make the perfect leggings. These are self-drafted. They're meant to fit me perfectly. And right now, I'm just playing around with the fit and the pockets. Yes. I'm making cargo leggings with my, um, what am I gonna call it, comfort waist. I'll tell you what that is in a minute. Um, the reason I'm making leggings is because, uh-oh, I'm gonna tell you a little life before I tell you the sewing because the sewing is from the life. <laughs> Does that make sense? So we were at church um, and kind of hang out with my daughter because that's she's got the two kids and that's where I want to be wherever those two kids are oh, love them so much and um, there's a church camping trip coming up and she said are you going and every time they've said that anybody in that group I said can I bring my trailer I'm not camping without it <laughs> you know I was young like them and we did all our family vacations. We're camping. I've been backpacking. I've slept on the ground. I've slept in a tent. I've slept every which way. And I'm just done. I'm done. Uh, did it. Loved it. Now I want to be in my bed in my cute little camper. If I can't bring my camper, I don't want to go. Plain and simple. So he said, yeah, you can bring your camper. And I thought, well, then I'll, yeah, I'll go. Um, I do believe, I do believe when people tell me stuff, but we decided to drive up to the campground and check. <laughs> but that me and I were in on it. Like we wanted to drive up there anyways. I showed you how beautiful that drive is, right? So we went back up to that same basic area and went to this campground, which was way off the beaten path. And there was tons of campers up there, like travel trailers bigger than ours and they made it. So we're going to do it. So then I started thinking, what do I want to make? that I could wear on this camping trip. And I'm like leggings. And one of the things I'd like to do is just wear leggings and a t-shirt, but I feel like a little exposed with leggings and a t-shirt, you know, in the back area over the bottom. But man, I've always felt like put pockets on the bottom and it's not bare anymore. So I'm playing around with pockets. This is my favorite pair so far, but I do want to try it on. I haven't even tried it on. Um, I need to film it, so I'm going to film it for you, and then I'll decide, but I think the pockets are too big. So this is the pockets I started with, and they're kind of off-center, and I like that. So it's a little smaller here and a little bigger here, and I thought that was kind of an optical illusion, but then I thought, is it really worth the extra effort to have all these different sizes? So I'll show you the two pockets on this one. These, this is the back, the back pocket on the bottom and it has a flap because flaps are great for flat bottom girls like me. And then it has the pocket on the side. Turn this this way. So this is the cargo part. So this pocket is bigger than this pocket. And it's also off center. So smaller here and bigger here. And also I did raw edges. So I simply sewed it around with the, with nothing, just the raw edges. And I did some zigzagging, I did some uh, stretch stitch. I was just never happy because it was puckery. And I, I just, I, I ended up taking it off on this side and then I thought, what if I just made 
one pocket, I think I started with this one, and made it not off-centered so it could fit anywhere. And I just started thinking that might be the way to go. So I'm still not sure, because I kind of like these funky pockets. So this pair has one pocket, one flap, all, 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 of this, all of the same. And so I'm thinking that these might be too big for the bottom, you know, around the, on my bottom. But they're really cute on the side, so let me show you that. I don't know. I like this better. So this does not have the raw edge. It's folded under and then um, my flaps are, you know, sewn right sides together and then turned. And I like it. I, I don't know. I kind of like it both ways, but this one is much smoother and I used a straight stitch. So that would probably work with a straight stitch too. Uh, my chalk marks are still here. I need to brush those off, but I don't know. Still playing around. I'll probably wear these. I probably won't wear these because it has only pockets on one side and that could be a look. <laughs> could it be a look? I think I'll save these for wearing at home. I have plenty of leggings. So, um, still working on that. Now the comfort waist, I want to tell you what the comfort waist is. I probably have a video on this somewhere, but I'm just going to tell you. I used to buy all my leggings from Amazon and I hate this little thin little piece of elastic that just sort of it bites me. I hate waistbands. Hate them. Uh, even like when I used to wear suits, I would always take my skirts to the cleaners and have them remove the waistband. Hate waistbands. Uh, you could do that. It works. Um, so what I did is I cut a little, I, I, I took my seam ripper and I kind of cut a little tiny hole in the side and I reached in and I just finagled it so that I could get that elastic off, but only on the, only on the front and I left it in the back. Because if you take the whole piece of elastic out, the pants will fall down. And that's not good. So this has a flat front. Oh, it's so comfy. And then a little bit of elastic in the back so it holds them up. And this is just the most comfortable thing ever. So I'll be bringing these and wearing these. Um, I'd like to make some cargo leggings shorts. So maybe for my other camping trip coming up in the summer, I'll play with these. And I thought these pants would actually be cute wide leg too. Lots of ideas. Okay, so that's the sewing I've been doing. I kind of like sewing for a purpose. Do you do that? So I like sewing for fun and creativity. This was just for fun and creativity. This dress, do you remember? I made this I don't know, a month or two ago. I love this dress. I will pull for this first every time. It's short sleeves, and I mean no sleeves, and I just feel super comfy in it. It's comfy and cute. The only thing it doesn't have is pockets. So, boo. Uh, life, we're going camping. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Oh, I'm really looking forward to it, get my camper ready, and I did a video actually of my camper because I had some really cool stuff to share. If you haven't seen it, I will put a picture of it, a link somewhere, and you can go look. I did a shopping haul for the camping. Even if you're not a camper, you might like some of the cute stuff I got for the camper. Um, it really needs a good cleaning, so I'm going to do a good cleaning before this trip. I'll probably need another one after, but I don't mind because I love love going places in the camper. I'm so excited I can hardly stand it. Um, okay, I put a little note up here on my board to remind you, in case you don't remember, somebody stole my Facebook account, so I no longer have it. And the reason I'm bringing it back up is because I was um, enjoying communicating with some of you very much. And you're probably thinking, well, why'd she stop? answering me and I can't answer you if you're if you're someone that I was in communication with on Facebook come find me on Instagram because I um, I can't get in it's over I think I've been googling and I think it's just I just don't think there's anything I can do I think it happens to a lot of people I don't happen to think that's a very good business model if you want people to be customers help them come back in when somebody else did something to them that I didn't do anything but I'm still on Instagram for now because that's owned by Facebook. But for some reason, I'm fine there. So if you want to come find me, you'll have to request me. I turned it private. I'm just a little bit gun shy right now. So um, if you are not used to being on Instagram and you don't have you don't have a picture and you don't have any followings and all that stuff, you'll need to send me a message request so you can say, hey, I'm one of your YouTube followers and I will accept you right away. But I get these weird requests from guys, men, and they try to pick 
what they think I would like. You know, like someone my age, a doctor, somebody who drives a great car, somebody who's like very handsome. No, I have, I have a great guy. I am not looking. So stop it, Instagram. But if you come find me, just message request me. I get those, like a little message request that says message request and it's like, you don't know them. I'll, I'll, I'll check that. I will absolutely always check that. So just say I'm a YouTube follower and I'll boom, accept you. And then we'll be in contact again. I love that. Ah, thank you everybody who commented on the thread. I am excited to order some more threads and I'm going to try everything you guys suggested. I did get some um, elastic thread, the stretchy, not elastic, but stretchy thread for my serger and um, I used it on this and it looks different, a little bit different than regular thread, but I will tell you that it's not any more or less stretchy than regular thread uh, for the serger because the serger is already stretchy, but it was super hard to thread. Now my, it is an air threader, but it's just so fluffy, this thread, it's really hard to get in there. Uh, I did it and it's fine, but um, for the serger, I'm not sure because that was like, that was hard. But for the sewing machine, it should be fine. So I'm gonna try everything that you guys suggested. I'm gonna make a list. I'm just gonna order everything and see what happens. And I'm gonna try it. Um, I do think I agreed with so many of you that at Joann's, the Gutterman was better than the um, the all-purpose Coats and Clark or something like that. Um, I think the Gutterman was better. And I liked somebody who said, you need different threads for different projects. So that was something I need to really kind of um, think about, you know, what is my project? What's the best thread? So if you aren't aware of what I'm talking about, I asked what was the best thread. And that was last week. If you want to go take a look, I'll put a link to that in, um, on this video and you can just click on it. So that's it. That's it. I've got every, that's everything. Okay. I'm done sweating for you. You know, like I put on makeup for you. I put on my jewelry for you. I fixed my hair for you and I'm sweaty to death. Now I just want to go put on my ponytail because I live in my ponytail. If you haven't seen my um, Trailer Tuesday, you'll see that's what I wear all the time. Is I, just, I just put my hair up in a ponytail. And campaign, I won't even wear makeup. I won't fix my hair, nothing. So I'll take some film of that. You can see the real life, the real Stephanie. Um, but you know, I love dolling up. I love putting on makeup. I love fixing my hair. I just don't like being hot. So I want to say... Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're having a great weekend. And I hope you're having a great summer. And I know that there are people that are not having summer, you're having winter, so I hope you're having a great winter. I love all the seasons, all of them. So I hope you're having a great time wherever you are. And um, I look forward to talking to you again next time. I wanna say thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you in the next video. Please hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment. All those things are so great. I'm so grateful, so grateful, so grateful. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs> Bye now.